so I emptied out my whole um, bushcraft kit. I'm glad I did because some stuff I have doubles of. Some stuff uh, needs swapping out for, but I'm going to show you everything I have. This is for a one to two person at a push bag. Uh, you are going to see some doubles because I do have some backup stuff of the stuff that I really need. So uh, first off, this is the bag I usually use. So it's an old fashioned Bergen. It has a large pocket on top and a large pocket underneath. Uh, rocket pouches on the sides and then you have a pouch in the front which I make that my first aid kit. It also has a large flap on top so I can overstuff it if I wanted to. Um, bit of padding on the back but I like this bag because the fabric itself is really tough and uh, durable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some of my parts in here that I bring with me. I'm going to chuck them in the bag to make space on the table so I can show you you know in depth of a couple more things I have here. So I'll leave that open. I'll put it here. So now, uh, we had really bad storms and wet weather at the moment, so I have a pair of waterproof trousers. This is a army poncho in the bag. I know it's in a bag, but the bag will be used for something else later on. But I keep it like that so that um, nothing messes up the poncho. Uh, that's a waterproof cover for my bag. Now, moving on to first aid kit. I have one um, dressing here, field dressing here. And then I have a complete first aid kit in here which I usually keep in front of my bag. So I'm gonna put that over here. Um, I like zip ties. I usually keep two heat of these with me. I'm not sure what the other one is. But um, Sawyer Mini Filter, very handy. Um, I, I bring this in my bag all the time. I have another one in my bug out bag. Uh, easy to use, easy to clean. Uh, so I recommend that one. Uh, continuing with water, I have a mill bank bag here. So you just drain the water, uh, dirty water out and then boil it after. I have a SA book here to read for downtime. Uh, this one here, which I've used last night because I was having problems with my um, kettle kettle, is uh, Polymath Products uh, Phantom Stove. So it's an alcohol stove, just that big, very lightweight. And then it comes with um, the shield and the stand for it. And the stand looks like that. Okay, so that, that was really handy, worked well last night. Um, I just made a couple cups of tea. So that, that was good for my brew kit. So let me just tie that back in there. Uh, the fabric case is mine, just in case the alcohol leaks doesn't go over my bag. Right, on to cooking now. I always keep a bottle of oil, um, some dishwash soap in a sealed bag. That's a little folding frying pan I use. Uh, again, I'm only one, one, two person most when I go out, so I don't need big kits. This is my rest of my cook kit. So again, you're going, like I said before, you're gonna see some doubles of stuff. This one here, I keep thinking it's a box of matches, but actually this is the um, paper towels. So I keep making that mistake all the time, but I figured I'd share that with you. So then I got some tent pegs here with the flat top, so I can put a pan on top of that in the ground if I don't want to use my um, stoves. I got my sugar, coffees, and teas in that one. I got some large um, wet towels in that one for cleaning up my hands. Titanium spork, uh, scrubber for cleaning up. Again, I have olive oil there, dish soap there. I have one kitchen knife, one small cutting board. And then I have a Bushcraft Essentials uh, solo stove. So that's a lightweight stove. Again, that's a backup stove. Again, if I want to cook on something real quick um, or just grab this kit for a different outing just for a day or whatever. Uh, I don't need to grab all the rest of this stuff. Just grab this one pouch and that's it. So let me just whack that all back in there for a minute. The pouches are just um, normal ex-military pouches. Um, you get them pretty much anywhere on eBay. Right, so that's done. Cool. Um, rope. So my cordage, I have um, black twine there mainly for bow drills, but it's good to have a bit of um, this type of rope because you don't need paracord all the time. 
I have two hanks of power cord, and I also have a sewing kit uh, in case I gotta repair my bag or anything else around here. Um, it's the thick, um, thick rope ones, more like leather work, so that's not gonna snap on me. But that's all the rope I bring, minus this Frankenstein monstrosity here. So I had to put a new ferro rod on here. Um, some other ones got used up. It has magnesium bar on the yellow side, glow, a thermometer, compass, and a mirror. So, you know, it throws sparks pretty good. I put a leather dangle on it from my friend made for me. So I can wear it on my belt, put that in a pocket, and that way I'm not losing this. Plus, for worst case emergencies, I have extra cordage. Right, when it comes to fire kit, um, that's an, a new pouch I got. Now, I like um, Hangar 51 stuff. I've always recommended their stuff. Their fire plugs worked really well today. Um, I used two of them in my kettle kettle with some grass and some other, like, sticks and twigs. Um, that worked well. I got a big lighter because this isn't survival. This is just going out for the day. Uh, Polymath Products, um, their fire kit. Highly recommend that as well. That's a really good kit. I got some um, chalk cloth. I got another little old style of flint uh, ferro rod and striker. These ones here, someone made. Uh, it's pencils um, with um, oil and some kind of fire lighter with it. Uh, I use them a few times now. That's that's quite good too. But again, it's just like using different supplies here. You don't have to use one thing all the time. Like I have some jute rope in there. Um, this one here, that's a Hudson Bay tin. So you got a magnifying glass on top. And you have a bunch of old school type stuff, flint and steel, all that kind of stuff in there. That's more of a practicing, you know, traditional kind of stuff, not so much uh, just using a lighter. So if you have the time, not starving, you want to make something a bit interesting. This one here I showed another video as well. Um, this is very old school as well. So that looks nice. I like it, it looks nice, it's traditional, right? So basically, you start this up. It's brand new, so I haven't started it yet, so it's not charred. Right, so they so now it's burning there. So then you use that, and you can start your um, char cloth, char jute, um, or small fibrous materials. Start it up with that one, and then all you have to do is put it back in there and ducks it out. So you have all this material here to use, which will have loads and loads of fires with. Um, and if it gets wet or whatever, you still, you know, it's not too bad because you still have that bit there. So I just used it. There you go, it's lit again. So I don't know, it's like I said, it's just something different. Uh, looks nice. Right. I mean, it fits in a normal sandwich bag, so I don't think it's like super duper uh, a lot of stuff. Right, so another uh, wet dry bag. Uh, one of those little head scarves there. Uh, that's quite handy actually for not getting some burn on my neck. That's what I mainly use it for. Titanium cup with a second cup in it. Again, I went from go out with two people. This one here I showed in a past video. It's a really nice cook set. So you got your frying pan, bowl, and that, and then that can go on top of that. So it's it's quite handy. I like this. Uh, I haven't actually I haven't used it yet because it looks so nice. I haven't even bothered, but it's in there. Well, actually no, I have used it, but it's a good kit. I like that one. Right, that way. This one, again, you're going to see a couple of redundancies here. So, Pathfinder bottle filled with water, spoon, the fish mouth hook, and then you have the um, container in there as well. So you can boil water in there. I can do um, some kind of soup or stew or something like that. That's in there. And then in the front of it, I have some another after bite, a whistle, multi-tool, another spoon, another lighter, some paracetamol, just to uh, 
have some stuff in this space here. So, onto this now. Right, so, this one here, these pins, I'll show you them. I've only, I discovered these from uh, Instagram. So, massive pins, just to give you an idea. Um, basically, they used them, um, uh, they call them blanket pins, and some people use them for their reenactment events. So, if you have like a wool blanket or fleece blanket, you basically just wrap it around you, pin it, and then it's gonna stay there, and then you don't have to worry about you know it falling off or tying knots or whatever. So, yeah, blanket pins. So, that's quite handy. Um, two of these army schmugs, I like them. Uh, again, for shade. We can use it for water filter, first aid, loads of things. Um, making a pillow out of them, stuffing your clean clothes into one of them, tying knots, it's using blanket pins maybe, you know, so all that helps. Um, I usually use one knee pad because I kneel down on my right knee. So if I'm doing a bow drill or any kind of woodwork or whatever, uh, I kneel down on one knee. So um, that's why I only have one knee pad. Again, it's just safe space as well. Uh, magic carpet, nice little tarp. Um, good for the size. I can fit two people on this. Um, it was for my um, tent ground, but I'm going to use it for something else instead. But that's that's compact and what I bring. Now, when it comes to bugs, I use a bug spray and an afterbite and a um, micro head bug net. We pulled off probably about six ticks off us since we've been here, um, so that's going to come really handy. A little sit mat. Um, when it comes to lighting, I have, that one was my upgrade from my Poundland ones, um, but then since then I upgraded to an old light one, so I'm using, well, there's two of us, so I'm using both, but the old light one's really good. Um, that one was about nine pounds, and that one does well, so they're both pretty good, but obviously that one's budget. All right, knives, we got Kevlar glove, I wear that on my left hand because I cut with my right. So um, I, I have a good habit of cutting myself. When it comes to knives, I have this one. I have this Condor hatchet. Um, honestly, I haven't used it that much. I want to get some more use out of it. Um, I've only used it very little, but I got something small just for splitting some uh, tinder for firewood and stuff. But again, I need to, more practice with that one. Uh, knives, there you go. That small one, um, I can't say the company, I'm not even going to try, but I'll put a link up. But that one's really handy for a small knife, very good. Um, that's one of my favorite small knives at the moment. Um, and then for the big knife, just a daddy version of that one, really. Uh, different shape, obviously, but same handle, very nice. Uh, good blade, no problems with it at all, good thickness sharp spine, very good handle. So I'm happy with that one. And the sheet's awesome. I mean, the money you spent on a knife, you could easily spend that on a sheath just for this. So that's really nice. As a second person coming out, um, Maura Garberg. Um, very nice knife. Um, it's Maura, so we, we all know Maura's a good. Good sheath too. Right, lighting, I have, besides the head torches, I have a UCL candle for the evenings. That's my flashlight for um, just carrying around really, like toilet breaks, middle of the night when I don't want to use my head torches. Um, just grab that and go. I have a couple of marker glow sticks. Now when it comes down to, um, I'll do sleeping next. Right, I have a hammock, it's small, light, compact and just in case I'm going somewhere where there's trees, I can get off the ground, I will. So that's a small little cheap hammock. This is a one tigress tarp, very, very large. It's about, I did a video on this ages ago and it's still holding up really well. A uh, good size tarp, I keep all my um, lines on it already. So ridge line, everything's all set up on there. So that's really quick to use. Now this one here, I have done a video on this, um, tent. It's my favorite tent because 
Um, it's half a tent in each bag. You can put it separately in your bag and space them out so it's not one whole massive bit of your bag being used. At the moment, I put this on the bottom of my bag flat so I can put everything on top of it just so it makes some space. So if I'm not overnight sleeping anywhere, then I don't need to um, have it on top. Now, in the video I showed you, it had um, these pegs and I'm going to swap them out for these pegs, which is like nearly half the size. I'll make, the, make, to make this about a lot lighter um, as well. Um, so it has the poles on that one. And then also I'm gonna use, instead of using the magic carpet for a ground sheet in this one, I'm gonna use a cheap um, material type one. But now this one, it, it's a good, it's, the material wise is better than, it's like a budget type tarp basically. I used, I can see I cut it, I used it before for something else. But what I'm gonna do is I like to have this stitched in or attached to half the side of this to form kind of like a, um, like a, a beach type shelter. Cause when, I did a video when you showed two poles going up. So that'll cover half the ground. And then maybe the other half of the middle of it, I'll put a Velcro strip on one side. And on this side, I'll put the hook on one side and a loop on the other and you can attach them in the middle. It'll make sense once I build it. But that's, that's my idea for this. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, these things, quite handy. Um, Clive likes them. So Clive, if you wanna borrow a couple, I got these for you too. But um, just for doing some guidelines, which I had the idea of using it for this. Now for, um, activities and or just mucking about. Um, I have a small slingshot here with the ammo inside. If you like the pouch, that's from Wish. Um, so you keep all the ammo here and the ammo drops out the bottom. So you pick one at a time and that'd be nice. Um, duct tape. It's just duct tape, we need duct tape. Pairs and stuff. This one's cool. Uh, it's like a little frisbee. So you just chuck it like that and it flies quite well. So if you're with someone and you want some downtime to play, again, this isn't like survival, I'm gonna go out and bare minimum and try to survive. It's just go out, have fun. Like enjoy the outside. You don't gotta make everything survival. Bin bags for your rubbish, always take your rubbish with you. Uh, some strapping and some bungees. Um, over here, I have this one, which I bought. It's a, um, a knockoff. I'm not sure what company does it. I wanna say SE, but I put a orange cord around it just so your hand um, is a bit more comfortable. But I left a bit, let me just show you that package. This is something I'm gonna do later on. There you go, better view. So I'm gonna use that one as a ferroid striker. The rope is just for comfort, and then you have the divot hole here. So this divot hole, then you have a skate wheel, and then I have a divot hole on this one. So far, I've done a bow drill fire with that one pretty well but I wanted to try it with these two types. This is a condor knife. Oh, you never show me, you never seen me advertise it yet because I'm still testing it. Um, it's a small little knife, not just for general cutting. I wouldn't say, you know, um, heavy duty knife. It's a folder, um, but it has a nice micarta side on one and then it has a divot in the other. So what I want to do is um, I want to check out the divots and see which ones work best for my spindles over here. So I got half my bow drill set here. I just need to get the bigger stick to make the bow part of it, which I'll, um, I'll have a hunt around later on and, and just practice some bow drill stuff. So from here, the only thing I think I'm really missing is a uh, Luro. roll. Um, some stuff I can leave out. If, I, if I'm going by weight, I would probably leave out the ax and one knife, just take a small knife and a big knife. Um, again, this is if I'm on my own. So if I'm on my own, I drop one head torch. Um, do you really need two tarps? Yeah, so I have a small tarp and a big tarp. I, I like that. One's for cover, one's for laying on, that's fine. The tent doesn't only have, if I'm going out for a day trip, obviously I wouldn't take my tent with me. So that's pretty much a lot of the weight gone there. Cook sets, do I need the Pathfinder cook set and the Army Green one? No, but it's, it, it's gonna, the Pathfinder set, if the bottle's gonna be in here, there's no problem with having the nesting cu uh, cup with it anyway. So I might as well just take the cup with it. It just, just to me, it makes more sense. This one, I would like to cook in more often. Um, so I'll probably use that a bit more, but we haven't really cooked. We've been using army food. 
uh, I brought about five packs of ration packs with me, the 24 hour ones and the 12 ones. So um, I haven't really been heating up much food. But I want to um, pause this a minute and I want to put some notable mentions though. Okay, so now if you're out for a couple of days, some notable mentions I've, I've been using today is the Anchor Power Port. Now you can get a four panel one, um, budget wise I've only gotten a two one, so I'm charging up this big power bank off that one, but I have smaller power banks, this one. You can also charge your phone off it, which is quite handy. Um, I got a speaker for music. I got some gators here, because like I said, we have a lot of ticks at the moment. And then I have this one here, um, which basically is a solar powered light. So I charge it during the day, and then you put it in your tent, and you have light in the evening. But you can also charge your phone off it, which I've been doing as well. So I have one person charging off the solar panels and one charging off the solar of this one. So that helps. And this is my very small pop-up tent. So I, like at the moment we have the smallest tent here. There's only two of us. That's a small tent. I'm not gonna do the army tent. There's a lot, like I said, a lot of bugs here. I'm not messing about with getting ticks and mites. Cause again, this is in survival. This is enjoying the countryside and relaxing. And this is my holiday. So three days camping. So I'm gonna use something a bit more comfortable for that. But um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what would you add or take away? Again, not for survival. This is for going out. So compare your kit against my kit. If you have videos of your kit, share that in the comment section as well. Um, look to seeing all your positive comments about my video. Um, so continue on. We're just going to eat army food for the next two or three days. And hopefully I'll have a shit by the end of it. That's about it, really. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks, guys, for watching. And see you next video.